Hey, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com and I know what you're going to say, not another Unify video, but you know, I promised that as I learned more about Unify that I would share my discoveries with you. One of the things that I love to do, I love to get hands-on control over different parameters. Unify allows you to do it in such a way that really kind of goes beyond what a lot of DAWs are allowed to do. So let's just jump right into Cakewalk and I'm gonna show you some examples of how you can use Unify to just control uh, VST effects with your MIDI controllers and that type of thing. So let's go. So Cakewalk has what they call ACT, Active Controller Technology. And many of us uh, love the Hammond organ sounds and the Leslie uh, speaker effects from the T-Rex Leslie. But when you insert that effect into the effects bin in Cakewalk, there's not really an easy way to control the speed up and slow down. I've got the generic surface module uh, installed that allows me to use all of these controllers. I have all of my MIDI controllers merged, uh, so it appears to be just one uh, just massive controller. So I've got both keyboards linked, I've got my D9X controller that I love, especially with drawbar instruments, uh, because you have just that physical uh, connection with especially the drawbar organs. This is a great controller. You can also use it with all kinds of different things. So uh, I've unplugged it so I could show it to you, but it's all connected. It's all merged using uh, Bone MIDI Translator. So when you have ACT pulled up, it will expose all the parameters of the plugin that's in focus. So when I click on uh, the T-Rex Leslie, all of these uh, different parameters are gonna show up, the fast speed and that type of thing. It's all gonna be mapped to different parameters in ACT. And so I've got the modulation wheel controlling the speed. And so when we pull that up and I use the modulation, you can see that fast. And so that allows you to control that with MIDI. Now, the problem is, is let's say um, you pull the, uh, you pull sample tank back up. So when sample takes in focus, see the T-Rex Leslie is not in focus and so ACT can't see it. It can only see the T-Rex, uh, the sample tank four. Uh, and so when we pull the T-Rex Leslie back up, let's pull up sample tank again. So now, so now we have both. And see, now it's in, it's in focus, so now it's receiving the MIDI. But once you click out of it, you lose it because the change of focus changes the uh, MIDI assignments for the control. And so I think that's a, a limitation. And the same way with, uh, with Portal. See, I've got Portal pulled up as well. And Portal is a really cool plugin. And I've mapped, now see it's, it's, it's controlling it now because I've got it in focus, but as soon as I take it out of focus, um, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna work. So see it's out of, it's out of focus and now it's in focus. Um, out of, in focus. And out of focus. Yeah, so that was that was what I was running into. And then I pulled up Unify and I said, what if we could do something similar in Unify? Let's go. So I've got Sample Tank 4 loaded and uh, same, same instrument, the church, um, the same rotary organ. And then let's make sure that this is turned off. Yeah. So now I inserted uh, T-Rex Leslie here and I'm gonna scoot that over. So now when I have it, it's controlling that. But what makes it so cool is that it doesn't have to be in focus because it's integrated into Unify. And so I thought, well, let's, let's just take this a little bit further. So let's go ahead and pull up a, um, like a Rhodes stage piano. I'm gonna load this up again. So. And that sounds really cool. 
but what if we could put a, uh, some effects on there? So, um, so I've got that Leslie bypass. So let's let's just unbypass it now. I've got control with the mod wheel, and this is how I did that. So um, Unify has the macro knobs here, and you can assign these to linked parameters. Now, linked parameters are just like the secret sauce, I think, in Unify, uh, because it just it just lets you have so much flexibility controlling uh, these parameters. So you click on uh, macro one, which I've assigned to the mod wheel CC one, add a link parameter, instrument, the instrument one is um, sample tank four, but the effect or instrument slot one, and I'm gonna to go to T-Rex Leslie, and then you go on down until you see speed, and there you go. And so now the mod wheel, you can see that interact there. The mod wheel now is assigned to the link parameter speed inside of T-Rex Leslie. which is cool. And you've got, uh, you can mix that up. And so I thought, well, if we could do that with the Leslie, why not with Portal? So I'm gonna bypass the Leslie and pull up Portal here. Portal is, is really, you can do so many really crazy um, effects inside of Portal. And so we can come in here and do all sorts of um, presets here. It's, it uses a lot of granular synth synthesis and resynthesis and all kinds of. But you stack that in Portal. When you stack it in Unify, now you not only have Portal, but you now have the Leslie. And you have control over all of these parameters all at the same time, <laughs> which I think is just amazing. So how I did this with uh, with Portal, you have uh, Macro 1 and Macro 2. And so I've got these linked to CC18 and CC19 through the link parameter. So I go back to link parameters and you see that I have it going to Macro 2, which is the, the uh, left and right, the X. And then the Y is the vertical, and that's controlling link parameter here, the second one. So, so you see how those parameters are being controlled by the joystick on this SL88, which I, which I love. So that just gives you just so much potential for uh, hands-on control. this granular, weird, gritty stuff. You hear that Leslie in there? Like some delays. <laughs> yeah, and you can and you can set up another control if you want to con control the wet and dry mix and every parameter is accessible. So it does not have to maintain focus. It's just integrated. And then you can save this as a user preset to bring all of this back up later. Uh, so you can see I've, I've named it Sample Tank for Leslie and Portal. But then I, I just said, well, why not? Let's, uh, let's go take it take it a little bit more. And so I've got Mixbox. This is the new Mixbox from IK Multimedia. And uh, I've got the tape effect going on. It's like. It's a little quirky and. And look at this. I'm gonna just show you how powerful these link parameters are. So let's just, for example, I'm not gonna assign it. I just wanna show you. So link parameters here, um, we can go in and add a new one, an instrument one, and effect mix box. Now look at that. All of these parameters for, for all the slots, 
uh, you can assign to a controller. It, you're only limited by the uh, by the controllers that you have and and how you want to use them. And one of the things too is that you you can assign multiple link parameters to a control. So you can control multiple uh, parameters. Like if you've got like a wet and dry mix or an EQ or something in one effect, you can actually stack it and link the same control in the other other effects. So. Um, I know this is a little little crazy, um, but it's it's incredible just to see the functionality here. Yeah, it's just really cool. There's a lot of weird stuff going on with the with Mixbox here. The cassette is really cool. Yeah, so that's a lot of fun. So I hope that uh, that just uh, gives you just a little sampling of, of some more of what Unify can do. And if it's your first time here, just go ahead and subscribe because I'm just gonna keep cranking things out as I can as I discover things. And uh, man, it's just powerful. It's just very powerful. And you know, I know other DAWs, they may handle MIDI automation and control a little bit differently, but this kind of gives you an out of the box way to do it because you can create these custom uh, instrument sets inside of Unify and just pull them up right away so they can have their own custom effects chains and all of that stuff. And, and that is not even counting the internal effects that come with the standard version of Unify. So um, I just hope you enjoyed that little, little dive into, little geeky dive into how to do these effects because it's just a lot of fun. I love. Getting my hands on those controls it just gives you so much more areas of expression. It's a lot of fun. So this is Simeon from praisetracks.com and I will see you next time.